Hello everyone, and welcome to FlowXO Academy. In this video, we will give you a feel for what it takes to build out flows in FlowXO by creating a very simple example. Even for simple bots, it's a great idea to diagram out the structure of your flows before you begin. Here's an example for our bot. The flow starts with a trigger that will listen for the words start, slash start, and menu. When the flow is triggered, the bot will ask the following question. Hi, I'm a simple bot. How do you feel about building chatbots? And it will offer two choices to reply. One, easy as pie, and two, seems scary. We will then configure the flow to reply to each of these answers separately. So for the easy as pie answer, the bot will congratulate the user. And for the seems scary answer, the bot will comfort the user with a different message. We will now see how this looks in reality when the bot is fully built. The bot greets the user with the question and offers the two choices as planned. If we click on easy as pie, the bot sends the message we wanted to use to congratulate the user. Likewise, if we click on seem scary, the bot will send the comforting message we had defined in our flow diagram. Behind the scenes, we only need one flow for this simple bot. We started with a blank flow and gave it a meaningful name as usual. We start by adding a new message, which will act as the trigger. All flows start with a trigger. In this case, we want the bot to present this menu whenever a user launches it for the first time using start and slash start, or types in menu. We will also configure the message to only listen to messages sent directly to it. And we will select yes to show shortcut buttons. Then simply click next and then save. We can see here what those two shortcut buttons will look like. Next, we will add an action which will ask a question. We start by adding the question's text. Then we will add the choices. Easy as pie, which we will mark as option 1 in this action, and seems scary, which we will mark as option 2 in this action. We will also allow up to two invalid answers and no unknown responses. Then we click on Next. There are no filters required for this action, so we click on Save. This point in the flow is where we have two different messages based on the user's reply. We will now introduce the actions to reply to options 1 and 2. We will select the action Send a Message and add the text we had designed as a reply to option 1. This message should only run when the answer to our question is 1, easy as pie. We configure it like this and click on Save. This way the system triggers that message when the answer to the question is choice 1. We will now configure the other message used to comfort the user. We will select another send a message action and add the text that we had designed as a reply to option 2. Then click on next. In the filter, we will click on the XO icon and select the parameter answer to the option we had introduced in the flow. Then add 2 so this message is only sent when the answer to that question is answer 2. Then click on save. 
This works because we configured the answers to be stored as 1 and 2, respectively, in FlowXO. And we are now ready to test it in the test console. We are greeted by the question we inserted, and are given the two choices as expected. Clicking on Easy as Pi triggers the message to congratulate the user. We now reset the bot to test the other option, and we see just that. If we click on Seem Scary, we receive the message to comfort the user. And that's all for this video. In the video description, you can find a link to download this example to your FlowXO account, as well as the written instructions for this and many more features in our Help Center at support.flowxo.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on FlowXO's features, and let us know in the comments if there are any specific features that you would like us to cover in a video.